Welcome back in this next video about instrumentation on iOS. In the previous video we already explained you how to install Frida and how to use Frida PS and Frida Trace. Now I will show you an example about how to bypass jailbreak detection using Frida scripts. So Frida has different APIs, one JavaScript API which can be used to create your own scripts to hook into functions and modify behavior or maybe only to extract data from an app. So the syntax looks like Frida, so just the executable, not Frida PS or Frida Trace, then minus U from USB, then minus N with the app name, or you can also use the package name, then minus L, and then you can load your own script, which is then JavaScript file. Or you can also use Frida CodeShare, which is a repository written by the community with a lot of useful Frida scripts. So you don't have to invent them yourself. In the next section we will explain you how to do some static analysis via reverse engineering. So you get to know all the classes, methods, function, etc. of an app. But as we explained earlier, you can also use Frida Trace to trace the application while you're using it. And then also search for a specific function by maybe just guessing or having a broader scope. And then Frida has a JavaScript API specifically for Object C classes. So your iOS app is using some Object C runtime. And Object C runtime is still a lot of frameworks, for example, in the foundation of iOS. We will also use Frida binary, and then you can also spawn an app. So start an app instead of hooking to an already running app. To demonstrate how Frida scripting is working, I will use a specific app, which is a damn vulnerable iOS app developed by Pratik. This app is very useful because it has a lot of vulnerabilities and also, for example, a lot of jailbreak detection classes. And we will use this app to create a script to bypass the jailbreak detection. You can just download this file from this GitHub repository. And then you can use the package name, for example, to do something with Frida. And the tool of Frida we are going to use is mainly the Frida executable and Frida trace as well. And if you use the JavaScript API, from this JavaScript API, we're going to use instrumentation to instrumentate a function, for example, or to listen to functions. And then we're going to use this object C methods. So if it's an Android application, you probably want to use this Java API. But now we're going to use these object C functions. And within this object C API, you can first check if object C is available in your application. And you can also do something like object C.classes will give you a list of all the classes from the app. So let's use this Frida command line interface on the VM. First, make sure you're connected again to a device. So Frida PS minus UA. Now this is working. We can continue with Frida minus U from USB. Then minus F to spawn an application. Which application we want to spawn? This application. And if we check on the VM, the application is started. So that's nice. And now we're inside this command line interface of Frida. So now you can also just type and use this without executing directly a script. So object C dot available to use this API, for example. And it says object C available true. The next thing we can try is object C dot classes or enumerate loaded classes, something like that. This will give you way too much output. So you need a more specific script. It is too much information, so let's try with Frida Trace. And then we are used to search with minus i. So let's guess there is something with jailbreak. Now it found zero functions. So maybe it needs to have some prefix and postfix. And now it did find some obfuscated functions, something with jailbreak detection view controller. So this is already some result, and then in this app, you can go to the menu, then jailbreak detection, then we click on jailbreak test one, test two, etc. Then we verify the result in Frida Trace, and then you can see it's using this jailbreak detection view controller, jailbreak test one tapped, test two tapped, etc. So this is one way to use Frida Trace. We can also do something like Frida Trace minus U, then minus M, and then this is the syntax. Then the class starts with jailbreak and we don't know the method name, for example. If we try this, then there is one function, jailbreak detection, which has one method, is jailbroken. And this plus sign means it's a boolean. If it's a minus sign, then we don't know the output, or it can be a string, for example. And in this case, the second one or the third one, I think, is using this is jailbroken. So it did not detect anything, so maybe it is the second one. Yeah, the second one 
is hitting this deal break detection is deal broken. So for this one, we can, for example, create a specific script, or we can create different scripts, like give me all the classes with the word deal break in it. And this one is iOS classes.js. We can also try this script. So I can also do minus L to load the script. And then the script is called iOS classes.js, build the app and run this script. And this script found two classes, one named geobreak detection and one geobreak detection view controller. And we can even go one step further and we can also say, give me all the methods of a class. So you have to find some examples or dive a little bit into these, these APIs. So for example, object C dot classes, then the name of the class and then own methods will give you a list of all the custom methods which are defined in the application. We can also try this script. This script does a little bit more. It also tells you in which module this method is used. So in this case, there are custom modules with a class geobreak detection with a method is geobroken. And there is another geobreak detection view controller, which has quite some different methods. And only this is geobroken is a Boolean. You can recognize it on this plus sign. And the other methods have different return values. I will not go into all details about Frida. We also have a separate Frida course you can follow for free. It is for Android, but it's using the same APIs. So in this case, this script will check if object C is available. Then it will search for a class name, geobreak detection with a function is geobroken. And then we use the Frida interceptor to attach to the function and to change the return value of the function. So this is a very specific snippet, but it is something you can reuse by just changing the name of the class and the function. In this case, we want to change a Boolean value. So 0x00 is false and 0x01 is true. So I will expect is geobroken initially has the value true. And then what we will do in this script, we will change the return value to false. So if you go back to the device, deal break detection, you click on the second one, device is deal broken based on this return value. And we now we will change this. And then we will run our final scripts to really bypass this detection. And now we have to trigger it by going to deal break detection, deal break detection test two. And now it mentions device is not geobroken. And this is the result of our script. So method name device is geobroken, return value object, original value OX1, new value OX0. So this is the result of our custom Frida script. There's also something called Frida CodeShare, codeshare.frida.re. And in this case, there's also a snippet called iOS geobreak bypass. And this script also uses the interceptor API to bypass a lot of checks. So if you don't want to dive into the code right away or do an extensive tracing, you might also get lucky by just trying one of those scripts. Let's try this script. Now I'm going to attach again instead of spawn. So I'm attaching to the same application and I'm using minus minus code share and then the name of this script. The first time you also get a warning about that you need to trust this script, then you need to press yes. But now this script should be loaded and we can Try the same jailbreak detection. And now the device is not jailbroken. The device is not jailbroken, not jailbroken, not jailbroken, not jailbroken. So with our custom script, we only were able to bypass one of those five checks. But with this community script, it apparently bypasses all the detections. So this was an example about how to create a script specifically for object C and also how to use Frida code share. And what we did was we did some common use cases like function hooking. We hooked to a function, intercepted and modified the behavior. And there are also some other use cases which are quite common like bypass, SSL pinning and data exfiltration. And in the next video, I will show you one more feature or addition to Frida, which is called objection. So I hope to see you in the next video.